Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday. Sup, brother? Uh, if you don't understand that reference, you've been living under a rock, because even my mom knows what that reference is, okay? But uh, yeah, double training today. Awesome. Didn't have it yesterday, so today's Monday slash Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go to the gym today. We're gonna have two beautiful trainings. We're gonna have an amazing first training. But the only way to do that is to set the tone first. So let's fucking set it. Bitch, it ain't my birthday, but I can. Bitch, it ain't my birthday, but I can ball if I want to. Pull up on cars if I want to. Oh, I love the beginning. Bitch, it ain't even my birthday, but I can ball if I want to. Ball. Holy, good song. All right. Let's get it. So, I was reading someone's comment. I forgot that the word of the day was BS, by the way. So, I incorrectly read the comments uh, the way it was intended to be read. That's that's the funny thing when I do the word of the day, and then you guys say it, and then you, like, type shit. I, I'm like, why? Why'd they say that? That was so rude. I'm like, oh, yeah. I, I made them say that. Because someone said BS, because the word of the day was BS, like, bullshit. And then they're like, why aren't you... Why don't you train like uh, r swings on the rings or anything like that as much as like you used to? But I read it in the way of uh, bullshit. Why aren't you training on the rings anymore? Oh, you little bitch. Which is just funny. I reread it after. I'm like, oh, word of the day. And then they were telling me like, or asking me like, why? Why don't you train real rings anymore? It's because of my whole shoulder thing. And even before that, my shoulders would still hurt on rings. But today, today I'm making a deal. If I don't go on the real rings and do some real shit, not just the little bitch swings I did that one day, if I don't do any real stuff on rings today, then it's fine if I don't. But if I don't, then all I get to do tomorrow, and this is all I get to do tomorrow, is rings. Tomorrow's Wednesday, and we will just do rings. Nothing else. No high bar, no pommel. No vault, nothing. Just rings tomorrow if I decide to bitch out and not do it today. So that's the deal. And I've set it to the camera now, so it's real. But yeah, this morning training, I might do just a little bit of ring strength, do some vault, you know, like my normal morning stuff, and then do rings in the afternoon. But if I decide to bitch out on it and not do it in the afternoon, then tomorrow it's all we get to do. Because there's two more weeks of training up until nationals. I'm not too worried about rings, obviously. It's no big routine. Like, there's literally nothing special to the ring routine I have. The main thing is I just need to be able to make it cleanly through the routine, get an all right score, and that's it. By the way, the detour is still still there. We just we just went through it uh, if you're if you're interested. But yeah. What oh, what other questions were there? I was reading some of them this morning so I could like answer some of them, and now I can't remember any of them other than that one. Just because I thought it was funny to me that I read it in a mean a mean tone at first oh yeah now i remember there's stuff about floor uh someone was asking why i don't do back handspring uh ever since i was probably 13 or 14 i figured out that a back handspring on floor for me kills all my power like kills all of it <clears throat> now for most gymnasts doing a back handspring like round off back handspring and then their flip gives them like generates more power for them but for me i noticed if i do round off all my power has already been generated and then if i do a back handspring it just kills some of the power and then i don't have any power for my flip so uh for me i just do round off into all my stuff and that's where i get all my power from in the beginning honestly i was i was worried because my coach was telling me like no you need the back handspring if you want to do double double one day on the floor or any of that you're gonna need the back handspring because back then when i was younger no one was doing what I do, where I do round off into all my flips. Everyone did round up back handspring. No one did round off double double. Like, that was not really a thing. Everyone did round up back handspring double double. And if you did like triple twist or anything, then you would do round off triple twist. But it was never really a thing to do round off double double back then, which is kind of weird. But I told my coach, I was like, I, I can't seem to get any power from the back handspring, but I can seem to get a lot of power just from the round off itself. And I believe that one day I will be able to do the double double and all that stuff on the floor just from a round off and now today you know like eight years later that's how I'm getting all my power and that's how most people do all their stuff or not most I don't want to say most but that's how a lot of people do all their stuff on floor now is just from round off but I would suggest you know because they were asking if they should just do round offs or back round of a handspring try both work both don't just 
completely disregard one or the other. Uh, work both, see what works for you, okay? If you notice you get rid of back handspring and then the first day of you just doing round off into like a double backflip is just a piece of cake, maybe stop working back handspring. It might not be for you. But if you notice you're just, it's just a little bit easier to do it for round off without the back handspring. Maybe just keep working both. See what comes up quicker, what comes up better, you know? Until at one point one of them's improving much more than the other, then stop working the other one. And uh, the last thing, they also uh, were asking if it matters what floor you train on. Because they were saying they train on an old gymnastics floor. It does. Huge difference. Because they were saying they go to competitions and the floor is way better, way bouncier. It's because the floor is way better and way bouncier. We used to train on this old shitty floor. It was all right. It wasn't great. But anytime we went to compete, it was like, holy, we're, we're on a trampoline right now. Like, this is so easy. So uh, the floor you train on does make a difference. But uh, it doesn't make enough of a difference for when you go to compete that it should drastically change how you compete. If anything, it should make it easier. You shouldn't be over-rotating your landings or anything. Like, nothing crazy like that. But yeah. Red zone, dead zone, kill zone, war zone. Okay, we're at the gym. Let's get to work, shall we? All right, handstand conditioning, killer. Yeah, definitely did three minutes. I always count to 60 seconds twice when I do my two minute handstand. And then when I, so I counted to 60 seconds the second time. Couldn't, couldn't remember if it was the first or the second, so I just did a third minute. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, about halfway into the third minute I realized uh, we definitely already did two minutes. Good, good, good stuff. All right, time for pirouettes now. Three my good way forward, three my bad way forward, three my good way backwards, three my bad way backwards. Killer. I also got a nice compression shirt on. Uh, usually don't wear compression shirts. And it's not really a compression shirt. It's just a shirt with, uh, I don't know why I'm explaining this. It's a tight shirt. It's just a little too small for me and it has some stretch to it. So uh, if I take my hoodie off and you see me with this shirt on, it's kind of, that's why it looks so small. Okay, pirouettes. Burn it down to those ashes and <laughs> Burn it down. All right, reverse frets. Oh, good. Okay. Nice. Looks sick, hey? Looks a little small though. Ah, yeah, good shit. See, I feel like it just looks like a compression shirt. The sleeves are a little bit small because my arms are a little too big, okay? Let's let the ego fly here today. Hi. One bar swing dance sense. Five. One bar swing dance sense. With the new collection and open golf shoes for the online tracks footwear. T R A X X footwear got some more. Music club. Two till six. Domestic sixty ounce grab. Plus twenty capital music. Hi. Japanese hand sound. Uh, 
It was weird. It just starts perfectly for 10 seconds and then I just lose all the control. Jokes, bro. All right, five pressed handstands. <laughs> All right, 30 sit-ups all four ways. All right, ring strength, uh, just down here. You know, the, just the normal shit we do. The planche, L-sit, straddle sit, handstand. And then the goal is to do real rings at the end of second training. The goal for real rings is to do like two sets of like bigger breast planche, giant, that's it. All right, see how it feels in the shoulder. Maybe if it feels really good, we'll do planche, giant, Double-double. If you guys are running the double-double off rings for me, it's a fucking super easy. Double-double is super easy. It's just the, for me to not like ping off at the fucking bottom. If I don't, I don't even need much swing for it. So I always just do like a little bitch swing and then do double-double. Cause double-double seems to be a very not hard thing. Cause I know how to get off the rings and land. Just all the swinging stuff on rings isn't the greatest. And I also can't work it as often as I would really like to. Cause it just hurts to do it. But today is a new day, new week, new era new me okay okay ring strength shit first set warm up and then we'll do two uh legit sets and then we'll do the real rings at the end of second training let's get started <laughs> oh. first set always hurts like in the bicep so sore All right, first real set. Last set. And we gotta do real rings in the afternoon, okay? Or all day tomorrow. Time for vault. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time for vault. All okay. right. Uh, today we're gonna do the two hand springs, one full, and then one or two double twists, and then a two and a half. If it's feeling all right, you know, we'll do a two and a half. If not, we'll just do like two or three uh, double twists and finish on that. Yeah. Let's have some fun, shall we? All right. Hand spring number one. Hand spring number two. Girl like you. Okay. Full twist time. Full twist number one. Oh. 
not the, not the greatest. All right, I watched it back. It actually wasn't as bad as it felt, which is good. It just felt really like low and into the table, so I didn't feel like I got much height, but I watched it back and it wasn't too bad. So uh, we're gonna go for the double twist now, okay? Double twist number one. Okay, okay. That's pretty good, good shit. All right, watched it back, that was a good double twist. Obviously not like just fucking phenomenal, but it was pretty good, okay? So let's go for the two and a half now, eh? Two and a half, number one. It's impressive as fuck. My hair looks absolutely gorgeous right now. Okay, real talk. Uh, my round off, I never in my life thought I would land a two and a half doing a round off like that. The round off went directly into the table. I fucking, a full twist is hard when I do my round off like that and I still managed to land a two and a half. So if we could do that turn again, but do the round off correctly, oh, it would be a, such a good two and a half. All right, so we're gonna try one more, all right? Two and a half, number two. Oh yeah, that was good, we'll finish on that one. All right, that is it for vault. That second vault was good, the landing was a little bit weird just because I'm on a mat so it's impossible to like actually land correctly but yeah good vault session vault was deadly yesterday too good stuff all right let's save everything then we're done first turn First training, okay? Good stuff, all right, see you guys in second training. All right, welcome back to the gym, welcome to second training. Sadly, we are not doing floor today. I wanted to do floor, but uh, I got back too late because uh, I had some stuff I had to do in between training, so uh, the rec will be on the floor in like 20 minutes, and that's not enough time for me to tape my legs up, warm up, and then actually do a good floor session. I could tape my legs up, warm up, and then do five back layouts. It's just a waste of time. So we'll just lay off the legs, I guess, for today. You know, call another leg rest day. Uh, hopefully do some vault again tomorrow for Wednesday, and then we can actually have a really good floor session on Thursday and definitely do floor again on Friday. Friday. Okay, so hopefully floor is good on Thursday and Friday. But yeah, no floor, that kind of fucking sucks. I really planned on it, really did, I swear. But I had to go do some stuff that had to be done before I leave for nationals and it has to be sent in. So yeah, just figured I'd do it today and get out of the way. So we're gonna start on uh, P-bars here, okay? So yeah, we're gonna warm up. Uh, hopefully, we're gonna see how the Homna feels and how the Giant feels. And we're gonna do the Homna and the Giant today in the routine and do like a legit full routine without that stuff not being in it like we were doing before. And uh, yeah, okay, let's warm up and let's get started, shall we? Wait, that makes you I'm sorry, too. How warm is Okay, now it's fine. How warm? Oh, five thousand. I get to go off it. Oh, boy, I'm fine here. It's fast right now. What's up? Happy birthday. Watch out, please, be a few bars. 24. 40. Okay. Andrew, you want to try? I think there's. Alright, let's watch Noah's turn real quick just for fun. Alright, so we we're warmed up. We're ready to go. We're going to go for the Homna. Okay, we did a little giant warm up like we normally do. We never normally warm up the Homna. And uh, I know if I warm it up, I can I could feel it just from the swing. It's gonna hurt a bit, so I figured let's just do it in the routine. Uh, either I make it or I don't. But uh, if it only hurts a bit, then we'll do another routine with it. But you know, just go for it in the routine. I don't want to warm it up because I don't want to antagonize the shit out of it. You know. So yeah, uh, Pivo routine number one. Enjoy.
All right, it was not bad. First time doing Hamna and Giant all in the same turn in the same routine. Ever since the uh, incident, just fucked up the last part, you know? I'm just feeling tired. But uh, yeah, we'll try another routine, okay? All right, pure routine number two. Can we do that last half again? Fuck. That's good, we'll finish on that turn. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time for high bar. Let's warm up, let's get started. Can you tell me you convinced me to do a cold turkey routine, so I'm doing a cold turkey routine? Uh, chat, I peer pressured him into a routine, so he's going right now. Alright, hell yeah, fuck yeah. So funny. Full routine, let's go. Uh, the discount was bad, because I my left hand, my good hand, actually slipped a bit. The bar's a bit slippery. But yeah, sick, that was fucking... Man, thank God no convinced me. We're pretty much done high bar now. One or two more turns me out. Alright, so now we're gonna work... Uh, oh yeah, actually that routine was uh, first to catch up. Since the whole shoulder thing, obviously hurt a little bit. Not too bad, but like all my catches were a little bit far. That's okay, I caught them. Oh yeah, that's what matters. But yeah, we're gonna do a set of uh, staller boss dismount. One or two sets of that, maybe one Coleman and then just be done. Good stuff. Nothing stops me. I'm just a killer. See, before I used to be hitting fingers. Now at least I'm like in the dowel, so it's like right there. So it's getting closer, I was getting mad because all I would do is hit fingers every single time. Yeah. And that kind of the routine when it counts. One more set of just like two claws and we're done. First two were good, third one not so much. That's it for that's it for high bar. Alright ladies and gentlemen, that is it for high bar. 
I rode pretty good. Cold turkey routine, hit the full routine. Slipped a little at the end on the dismount, but all in all, it wasn't bad. Considering I haven't hit a routine in a while, let alone like last week, can't even fucking do high bar, so you know. Good shit. And uh, yeah, now we got Pommel here. Oh yeah, we're gonna do one, one warm up routine. Okay, let's get it. All right, routine time, okay. All right, Pommel routine number one. Let's get it. Not too bad. My arm wasn't too tired. I kind of was just off balance and fell. So that's good, actually. That issue wasn't my arm giving out. It was just me fucking up, which is kind of annoying. Not bad. Especially with that just one turn warm up. Good shit. All right, guys, quick little uh, executive decision here. You uh, probably already guessed it from the title. Uh, actually, it would it would still be in the title, but uh, we're not gonna do the real rings today. We did the ring strength in the morning, so that's why it's in the title. But uh, after this, we're gonna go for one routine. After this routine, we're done. But then we have to do rings. Uh, that's all we're allowed to do tomorrow because we didn't do it at the end of Palm. Because uh, if I do it after Palm right now, it's just not gonna be good. It's really not gonna be worth it. So at the end of the day, I'm tired, it's gonna hurt, and I'm just, it's not even gonna be good. So tomorrow, all we're allowed to do is rings. And if I remember, okay, this is this is okay, this is a fair point, uh, we're gonna wear in my new high bar grips. No, no high bar training, we'll probably do some skills to wear in the grips, but that's it, okay? We end up bringing the new high bar grips to wear in. And then that uh, that's all we're allowed to do. Okay, rings and wear my high bar grips, that's it. So yeah, one more palm routine and then we out this bitch. All right, Paul routine number two. Tuesday, Tuesday. Check Tuesday. Check Tuesday. Missed a couple skills, didn't fall. Cause I don't fucking fall. Starting now, starting right now. I never fall again. All right, so we're done pommel, but uh, we're just gonna show No up here real quick. Uh, show him how to do a dismount, you know? Yeah, I just fell trying to do it and um, no, I'm kind of the best in the world at pommel dismount. It's actually only slightly sarcastic. I'm extremely fucking good at pommel dismount. Check it out. Okay. I retract my statement. Oh my god. <laughs> it was too fast. I had no control. Okay, I'm gonna try it one more because that wasn't that great. You know, we're each gonna try one more as fast as we can possibly do it. What? Oh. Oh. It was nice. That would have been sexy. All right, don't get too jealous now here. Let's keep the jealous to a minimum now. Yucky! <laughs> Yucky! Let's go. Close call there. Close call indeed. Almost forgot to do the outro. I was in the gym. I was like, oh, let's just do it in the gym real quick and be done. I was like, ah, we'll do it in the Jeep. And then I got in the Jeep and then I forgot that I actually didn't do it when I was in the gym. So, yeah. Okay, listen here, listen good now. Got only rings tomorrow, that's gonna be fucking fun. Okay, that's, it wasn't, if I did it right now, it honestly wouldn't be that good. And I would just end up being, not like pissed off, but like not truly happy with the turns I would have ended up doing. Cause it's end of the day, second training, I'm tired. It just, and it would be my first time actually going to rings back in a bit. And now uh, here you go guys, uh, we're gonna say goodbye to Tristan over there. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, nice. Okay, back to what I was saying. But yeah, whatever, okay. 
that's that's it for this uh, video. Uh, today was a good day. We'll do only rings tomorrow. P bars is good. Okay, Hamna and Giant first day back, and they were super good. Didn't get to do fucking floor, which kind of sucks. Vault was super good this morning. High bar was super good. Cold turkey. Pommel was almost really good. Almost. Fell right at the end of the routine after only doing one shitty warm up. And then we did another routine. Didn't fall, but fucking missed like two skills, but didn't fall. So it's like they each had something that I wanted and they have to come together, those two routines, to become one. Because uh, one didn't fall, one was the whole routine and was good but fell. They become one, and it's a perfectly hit routine with no falling. But yeah, that's it, that's all. And uh, if you watched the full video and I enjoyed it, I am glad to hear that. If you watched the full video, let's comment the word. Super casual, fragilistic X, I'm just fucking kidding, we're not doing that. Uh, if you want to, you can. Uh, it's a big word. I don't know how it's spelled, so I'm not gonna spell it out for you. It starts with an S, that's the only, uh, that's the only letter I'll give away. Let's do the word. Uh, I don't think we've done the word audio before. Just weird because uh, we always do the outro in the vehicle and there's a huge sign right there that says audio warehouse and we've never done the word audio. I always look around for a fucking word. Okay, enough rambling. Audio is the word of the day. A U D I O. Audio. All right, thanks for watching. I love you.